I, I think the first thing people do when they hear this, this is going to happen in the autumn, which is a long way away, but I think people immediately think, what can I do to recoup that £800 or not spend it? Summer holiday, forget that, that's out the window, or Christmas will not, will not do things as much. People do think, how am I going to claw this back? They certainly do, but... In the end, food and fuel for many households, it's not something you can cut much yeah, more yeah. once you've already cut it no, to but the I'm bone. Saying, I'm saying you cut it elsewhere yeah. so, so the overall economy suffers, doesn't it? Because we're, we're bound not to, whether it's eating out, whether it's going to concerts, whether it's going on holiday, there's something we're not going we to do. We are a service-driven economy. 10% of our economy is hospitality, which sounds yeah. flippant, but that's what we do. The yeah. service sector is absolutely huge. And I think, in the end, a combination of not wanting to tip the economy into recession, plus, it must be said pretty crude news management going on here is why we're going to see a big package of measures tomorrow just in time, Eamon, to move us on from the Sue Gray report. Mm -hmm. What do you think some of those measures are going to be? Because there's some people who, as Eamon just suggested, are going to have less disposable income. They're not going to go to the theatre, they're not going to go for dinner. There's some people who are thinking, I can't actually buy three square meals for my family every day. How is the Chancellor going to give those people more money? Well, in the spring statement, which we mentioned, the Chancellor confirmed some measures that it announced uh, back in February to give things like council tax rebates, to lend people money and then take it back off them again in the future year via their utility companies. It was all a bit clever, clever, all a bit tricksy, tricksy. I think what we're going to see this time is much more direct intervention by the Chancellor, possibly a restoration of that £20 uplift in universal credit, which was there for the pandemic. Yeah. And then it was taken away again. The Tories are very proud of themselves that a temporary measure didn't become a permanent measure. Times have changed. That now looks really politically tin-eared. It may be that he wants to give that hospitality industry that we're talking about that employs so many people, particularly those little part-time jobs, often for younger people and women that help families make ends meet, he may restore, I would if I was advising him, uh, that emergency VAT rate for those hospitality yeah. industries going back from 20, where mm -hmm. it normally is, back to 12.5%, where it was during the bulk of the pandemic. This is not the time for tricksy measures. Those council tax rebates we were meant to get for our energy bills, as many of our viewers and listeners have been emailing me and telling me they were meant to be in April. Now we're told they're, by, they're, they're starting in April. So many people haven't received those rebates because the machine takes time to get rolling. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to see much more direct measures, a benefit uplift for the poorest via universal credit and possibly a reinstatement of emergency VAT for hard-pressed firms. Well,